hello and welcome everyone to my channel js and rs solution hope you all are doing great today i'm going to start the first tutorial one google earth engine i will be uploading a series of tutorials one google earth engine one by one i'll show you how to use google earth engine for geospatial and remote sensing analysis in an easy and simple way we will try to make concise video with clear instruction i will also share the code for your practice purposes which will be demonstrated in the tutorials this series will be an excellent resource for those planning to learn google earth engine especially for the beginners however today i'm going to show you how to create a google earth engine account and get familiar with the google earth engine interface including the code editor and other features initially we will use javascript and later we'll try to use python language um you don't need to know advanced level javascript anyway without any further delay let's get started opening google earth engine account go to search box and write google earth engine and then click google earth engine if you don't find sign up option then go to platform and code editor and write your email address and then click and you will find this interface and then sign up here and sign up for earth engine or write your full name affiliation or institution and institution type country or region select your country or region and write here some uh, one or two sentences check this box and check this box as well and then click submit and after that you will get this interface keep an eye on your gmail so go to your gmail and then you will uh, get this email note that it may take a few days before this this change is propagated through the system anyway first sign in your google earth engine account after that you will see the google earth engine interface and you can see here several options first i will tell about script option this is the documentation store for our created scripts users can write their own scripts or use pre-existing scripts from this script library and then the docs option this option provides information on earth engines data catalog programming interfaces and algorithms code examples and best practices for working with geospatial data and then you can see assets um assets uh, denote to the data storage and management system that allows uh, users to upload organize and share their geospatial data for use in earth engine workflows and you can see here new script uh, in this section we will write script inspector uh, with the inspector you can select a feature or location on the map and the tool will display information about the underlying data at that location uh, such as pixel values feature properties and metadata you can see here console um to execute code and examine the results with the console you can run individual lines of code inspect variables and data structures and correct errors in your code um the console also provides a history of your recent commands making it easy to rerun or modify previous code task with tasks uh, you can initiate and monitor the progress of long running analysis such as processing large image collections and schedule code to run at a specific time or on a recurring basis and run um, once you have written your code in the new script you can run it to see the results i hope now you can know every option of google earth engine interface the details of every options are given in the description section in this video anyway in the next tutorial we will learn how to collect and visualize landsat image 
in Google Earth Engine. It includes specifying location, specifying date ranges, image sorting based on cloud cover, and so on. Hope uh, you will get it more interesting to learn in an easy way. Till then, stay safe and stay happy, and don't forget to subscribe to get new video updates.